Hello everyone, welcome to Python visualization class. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Python to create word cloud. So let's first define the word cloud. The word cloud is a visual representation of a certain text or aggregation of the words. So take a look at these two examples in the slides. We use this word cloud to represent a certain text, and the size of the word is corresponding to, a uh, corresponding to the frequency of the word in a certain text. The goal of the word cloud is to emphasize certain information in a text so that you can better communicate with your audience. So let's go back to the Google Colab and let's see how we use Python to create those two uh, word cloud. Okay, I'm gonna open a one empty uh, Colab notebook. First, let's import some libraries. I'm gonna first import pandas as pd and import seaborn as SNS in case I use that from matplotlib import pyplot as plt and we're going to import numpy as np from word cloud import word cloud. So these W and C are capitalized. Well, this library name the, uh, is just word cloud without any capitalized words. Import uh, word cloud and stop words. Sometimes we need to remove the stop words of the text and then create a word cloud. And finally, we're going to import L dot image. Okay, so we're going to import the six libraries to create the word cloud. And in the same time, let's uh, upload some data. First, I'm going to upload uh, the Python intro and Python. Okay. So let's take a look at the Python intro. This Python intro is just um, a certain text. I copied from online and put that into a text file. And another python.gpg is a certain uh, shape of the uh, Python logo. So let's first read the text file. First, I'm going to define a variable called text. And that is, this text holds the entire text we're going to visualize. So we're going to open that from python underline intro.txt. This is our uh, target file. We're going to visualize the pen. And we're going to read the data and read the data to Python. So let's take a look at what is the text. Okay, so this is our text. Python is a programming language. It touches. This is based, uh, just a small introduction of the Python, and I just copy that from web certain website. And we're gonna visualize these uh, words. We're gonna visualize the entire text. Okay, after we read the entire text into this text variable, we're gonna define some visual elements. First, I'm going to define an empty figure and uh, declare its size. So I'm going to so I'm going to say plt dot figure and uh, figure size equal to let's say 8 by 8. Okay. Now we're going to define another variable called wc. So this wc holds, uh, this wc is um, generated, we're going to use 
uh, word cloud to generate a word cloud and then put into this variable. So let's use word cloud function. And this word cloud function is in the word cloud library. So word cloud. And we're going to define some uh, let's we're going to define some colors, but let's do that later. So I'm going to just def, uh, attach that uh, with another function called generate generate text. So this text is our target text. We're going to visualize a pound. So we're going to generate a word cloud based on the existing text and then put into the WC variable. Okay, so let's move on and we're going to use plt dot image show wc and we're going to use another plt dot show. So let's find the result. Okay, now this is very basic basic word cloud generated by the word cloud function. Okay, now um, you can see that after we have these word cloud generated, we have x axis and y axis, right? The x axis represents the uh, width and the y axis represents the height. Uh, actually, I don't need those axes. I just want a clean, simple um, word cloud. In order to remove all of these axes, I'm just to add another line of the code. I will say plt dot axis, and we're gonna pass off. So let's rerun the code. Okay, now you can see once we rerun the code, the x axis and the y axis are gone. Okay, now let's move back to the word cloud function. In this word cloud function, we can specify some argument so that we can adjust adjust some colors, etc. So in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce two arguments here. First is background color. Background color. And this background color is uh, by default, it is black, right? So let's change that to gray. And let's see what happened. Okay, once I re-execute this entire code, you can see that right now, the background color changed to gray. And I can just use a light gray. So right, so you can see the background color has changed. So this is the argument of background color. Of course, if you want to change the word cloud and their uh, colors for certain word, you can use another argument called the C uh, map. Uh, it is a color map. Sorry, C O L O R map. Okay, the color map help us to determine the aggregation of different colors. So right now we can see that the aggregation of the colors is from the purple to green and some yellow, right? But if you want to change the entire color group or color palette of all of these uh, words, you can use this uh, color map. You can uh, determine a certain color map. So I'm going to go to this matplotlib, color, choosing color maps in matplotlib. So you can see that in this web page, this official matplotlib web, uh, web page, you can have a lot of colors to choose from. Let's see, I'm going to choose um, the certain color map like um, like this rainbow color, rainbow. Okay, I'm going to type that with rainbow and then rerun the code. You can see that now the entire uh, words and their different uh, color uh, palette would change to rainbow. And uh, you can also go with the previous one, like this winter color. And you can type winter, and the entire color palette would change to this uh, 
blue and green color. Okay, so this is how you use background color and color map to adjust the color combination of your word cloud. And sometimes we want to uh, make this word cloud more uh, fun. For example, we want to embed a certain shape and make that word cloud to be uh, to embedded a certain shape. And in order to do that, I'm going to do a little bit of an adjustment. So in before that, I'm going to import a shape file. Okay, so in order to do that, I would just define another variable called the picture Python. And that equal to, uh, do you still remember we have this python.png, this uh, shape uh, file. And this shape file is basically the shape of the Python logo. So I want to import this uh, file in here and combine with the existing word cloud to make that a certain, certain shape. So this would be, mm, we're going to use pil dot image dot open function. So we want to open a certain image because right now the Python image file is PNG, right? So we're going to open the Python.png and when we, when we after we open the file, we're gonna transform that into mp dot array. So why we do that? Because we want to uh, better we want to transform the image into a matrix so that Python can better uh, visualize the shape. Okay. Now this is uh, how we read the image data and transform that image data into a two-dimensional matrix. Okay, now let's run the code. Okay, and then we're gonna define an empty figure, plt dot figure, and we're gonna define the figure size. Figure size equal to eight by eight. Okay, next we're going to define WC word cloud. And we're going to um, copy the previous background color and the color map here. Okay, and then um, generate text. The same exactly the same code. However, if I want to combine this sheep, the sheep with the existing uh, word cloud, I need to specify another argument within the word cloud function, and that is a mask. And mask equal to the variable we just defined, picture Python. Okay, and that's it. And that's how we combine the shape file with the word cloud to make that better shape. Then we're going to say plt dot image show wc and we're going to remove all the x axis and y axis. So we're going to put that with off and then plt dot show. Okay, let's run the code. Okay, now you can see uh, this is a sh Python shape, right? Because Python logo, uh, let me let me just open the file here. It's like this shape, right? So we're going to combine this shape with the existing word cloud so that you can see the entire um, word cloud is more fun. Okay, now I can adjust the light gray with uh, white so that you can better visualize the entire shape. Okay, so that is how we use 
Python to create word cloud. It's very simple. We use word cloud. All we need to do is to generate the text you just read to Python and then specify the background color and the C map, the color map. And if you want to combine with a certain shape, you can just read a certain shape file and then uh, combine that variable in a mask and put that argument into this word cloud. Then you have this perfect Python uh, word cloud. Okay, thank you for watching.